Hey there, Tesla fans. Aaron Rath here with you today as we are going to change the look of the Tesla. I know we do this a lot, but in the past, we've put on products from companies and, and changed the look, and we're going to do the same thing today. And I have a product today that I think is, is really cool and really is going to um, be a game changer when it comes to the look of the car. So I will tell you, and I'm going to show you as I tell you, I will tell you that I put on these mud flaps, right? And, and I've talked about the mud flaps and I've talked about the good that they do for the car. And you've seen videos and I've recommended them on Instagram and on YouTube. And today we're going to change what we have and we're going to put on this product from our friends over at the original Carbon Guards. And this is a little bit different. It's a, it'll serve the same purpose, but it's really different. I already cut the tape open, so let's open up the box. Nice packaging, keeping it safe. Good set of instructions on the inside. Um, and we'll go through those in just a moment. Then we've got a small brush and some adhesion promoter right here. And this is the product that we're looking at. They are made out of real carbon fiber. They have, um, uh, they're only put on with double-sided sticky tape. So they're going to fit in their cleaner. They're going to look better. And then on the back side of them, on the side that will be where you don't see it, is this, um, is this more of a gritty look. It kind of looks like a uh, spray and bed liner from a, uh, from, on a pickup truck. But that is just so that it um, has the, the coating so the, the uh, snow and ice and anything else just kind of slides off. It doesn't damage it. If it takes rocks on there, it won't damage it. It's built very strong. But this side is the pretty side and this is the side that you'll see. So also in the box we've got a nice, um, well, I, I'm going to pull them all out. So you can see the the rear ones, Those these are the rear ones. These are the front ones. The front ones have this little screw hole in them to, to be able to put on the one screw. And then this one. So you'll see that they're all different. So you have to find where they match up on the car and then put them in. And you also get a nice microfiber to work on cleaning um, each of those pieces. So really good product so far from what I've seen. We're going to work on right now taking off my old mud flaps so that I can get these put on. I'm not going to film the removal of the old ones because you saw me put them on. Um, if you haven't, go back and watch that video. And uh, we'll get back on the installation of these after we get the other ones removed. I also want to say make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that bell button so you know when we drop a new video. We've got a lot of videos coming. We're over a thousand, so we're cruising along. Things are, are going good. But I have noticed in looking at the analytics data that a lot of people watch the videos but don't subscribe to the videos. So if you're watching this video, please drop a subscribe down below. Hit the like button if it's helpful. Uh, throw a comment up there. Like I said, I'm gonna go remove the old ones and then we'll get back on here and we will get the installation underway of these new ones. So I wanted to jump on here real quick and I got all the old mud flaps off but I wanted to point out this is one of the problems with those mud flaps is the amount of dirt and gunk that gets in behind the part behind the part that overlaps you can see on the front too so get a little scratching there we're gonna have to clean this up before we could put the new ones on also also i misspoke earlier when i talked about these so these two without the screws these go on the front these with the screws these go on the rear so we're gonna get to cleaning those areas up and then we'll get these installed after you have everything cleaned, what you need to do is find where each of those carbon guards go. Like I said, for the Model Y, the ones with the holes on it go in the rear. And what you basically want to see is, as I flip the camera around, 
you'll see that you want the carbon fiber to be facing out, the truck bed liner part to be facing towards the wheel. Now, I have everything clean. What I did here is I took the little pin that's gonna hold through that hole and I kind of put it on as a guide point for the rear to get that lined up. Because what you want to do is now you want to get some masking tape and you want to kind of lay out where this 3M tape goes to. So you see it goes there and it goes all the way up to there. So we're going to quickly uh, take this and put masking tape where our, our uh, 3M tape is sitting at. So I'm just gonna take some tape and a little piece like this and just kind of stick it up here. And then on the side here, I'm kind of gonna stick it and just reach underneath and stick it like that. Now, if I take off my, I take off my carbon guard, I can see where I need to put the adhesion promoter. It's just in this area. I'm also gonna go through now, add that I've done that and kind of give it a a once more cleaning and then i'm going to do the same thing for all four wheels okay once you have all your masking tape laid out and you know where this is going to go um, double check everything make sure it's all clean you can see i still have a little bit in there i need to make sure i get cleaned out and then we're going to go through and we're going to put on this adhesion promoter just in the areas where we need it. And then we have to let that sit for five minutes. So I'm gonna quick go through and make sure everything's cleaned up and then put this on and then we'll come back and do the first rear. Once you put that adhesion promoter on there, it's about a five minute wait before we go back in and put these carbon guards on. But I wanna show you, I showed you with the other mud flaps on. Now we're gonna show you without anything and then we'll do a final reveal with the carbon guards on. And so you can see it looks quite different with nothing there, but it offers zero protection for the paint. So you really need something there. I think this is gonna be a great option because it doesn't go up on the plastic on the side. I have noticed I got a few scratches in there that I'm gonna have to work to get out, but We'll wait our five minutes and then we'll get these stuck in place. And really all that is, is peeling off the 3M backing tape and pressing them into place. Sorry, you can't see that there. The 3M backing tape on the rear ones just goes down the side because you got that plug there. And then the ones on the front, the 3M backing tape goes all the way down and it'll go all the way down into that lower lip down there where you see the lower masking tape. All right, so now we're gonna go through and we're gonna peel off the tape and we're gonna get these pressed into place. We're gonna start with the rears, get this red 3M tape peeled off. We'll line up our hole that we have for the little uh, plug and we're just gonna kind of line this up and press them into place. Doesn't take a ton of pressure And then we're gonna push our little plug in. And I might actually have the wrong plug in there, but that's okay. We're gonna get that pushed into place and then we're gonna find the right plug. And I have many of these different styles of plugs. If you watched my last video, you saw the kit that I purchased that you can also purchase to get these into place. Now you can see it's nice and in place and we're going to go through real quick and do the other three. Now we'll tell you the one thing you can't do is wash your car now for eight hours or drive fast. You need to let this settle into place but we're going to go through and get the rest of these knocked out and then we'll show you what it looks like. All right. Here they are installed. You can see the truck bed liner part to the tire. But man, they look clean. They're not gonna cause any damage to the edge of the car and the carbon fiber is in is 
beautiful carbon fiber. No drilling. You can see on this side, it's just sticking right on the inside of there. And I'll tell you what, when you put that adhesion promoter on there, it really makes that thing stick. Let's go to the other side of the car. You will notice my car is dirty. But it'll get washed later on this weekend. Make sure these are pressed on there nice and good. That one's on there good. You can see the one on the front. The thing I like about them is they they just kind of disappear. They don't they don't stick out too much. They don't take away from the clean look of the car and from the back. I mean, you can see it offers some great protection by the tires. Just a clean, clean overall look. All right, that'll do it for today's video. As we put the new carbon guards on the Tesla Model Y, they've got them for all different kinds of vehicles, not just for Tesla. So get on their website and check them out. I'll have the link to the description or the link to the website in the description down below. So make sure you go down there. Also, if you use the code RATS Tesla, all one word, you will get 10% off of your order. So get on down there. Go over to the website and order. Like I said, they're they're a little expensive, but you know what? You get what you pay for. The quality of these is top notch. They are handmade carbon fiber, and they look really, really clean on this car. They really clean it up a lot. So I would suggest that you get over there and get a set for your car. I might actually have to buy a set for my wife's Tiguan that you see sitting behind me, but they're carbon guards. Like I said, I'll put the website down below. I'll have it down here below as well, and I'll put it in the description. Use Rats Tesla at checkout for 10% off of your order. But that'll do it for today's video. Please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell button so you get notified of new videos when they pop up. And if this video is helpful to you, drop a like and a comment. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know uh, if you'd spend the money on them. Let me know what kind of things you want to see me put in the car next. But that'll do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Get out, go drive, be safe, have fun, and we will catch you in the next video.